You know, Mark Crawford has gone on to a great uh, head coaching career despite the fact he benched Gretzky in the 98 Olympics in that shootout against the Czechs. Won a Stanley Cup, but today we're not talking about his excellent coaching career. This is a request from my good buddy Bo Sheaves, who's a big fan of the Vancouver Canucks. We're going to talk about his playing career, which is kind of forgotten, because he became one of the most, uh, uh, what do you call, popular players of the the, uh, the, uh, the Franklin Express era when Franklin uh, were sharing duties between Vancouver and Quebec uh, for uh, for that AHL team. Now, uh, born February 13th, 1961, in Belleville, Ontario, uh, he was a 5 foot 11, 185 pound uh, skater, uh, be- best known for his uh, uh, being a Vancouver draft pick, 70 overall in uh, 1980. Now, during his uh, teenage years, he attended Nicholson's Catholic College in Belleville, Ontario. Now, He's also a part of NHL lineage as his uh, brothers Bob Crawford and Lou Crawford also played in the big show. Now, he first came to major prominence in his three seasons of major junior in the Quebec uh, League with the great Cornwall Royals. Now, during this time, the team won back-to-back Memorial Cups. He was eventually drafted by the Canucks in the 1980 draft and uh, joined the Canucks finally in 1982. Now, with Cornwall, his best season, of course, was 1980, where he put up uh, 63 points in 54 games and with 28 points in the playoffs. Uh, 81, his uh, his last uh, year of junior, he ended up uh, with 100 points that year, uh, including 42 goals in a regular season and 35 points in 19 playoff games. But what stands out about 1980, ladies and gentlemen, even though he was gone for most of the season, he was probably one of the most effective forwards in the association in regards to being a money player. Now, his first season with Vancouver, he put up 12 points in uh, 40, uh, 40 games and one goal in 14 playoff uh, games. 82, he also played with Dallas of the CHL with 34 points in 34 games. Now, this is where his uh, his connection with the Brunson came in. In 83, he played 41 games in Vancouver with 9 points, but had 24 points in 30 games with the Farrington Express as one of his most popular players. 84, he played 19 games with the big squad in Vancouver, one assist, but he put up 31 points in 56 games, uh, including nine uh, uh, nine goals and six points in seven playoff games. Vancouver uh, called him up for one game in 85, but he played majority of the year in Franklin with 41 points in 65 games, including uh, his career high 173 minutes and penalties. Now, 86. After a little bit of fine-tuning of his offense, he found himself back with Vancouver, 25 points in 54 games, going 11 goals. But with Frankton, he also played 26 games with 24 assists. Vancouver, another off year, he only played, uh, uh, only got three assists in 21 games that year. But with Frankton, he had 20, uh, 25 goals, uh, 25, uh, point, uh, 25 games, 19 points, uh, including eight goals. 88 back with the Express, 18 goal, 18 points in 43 games, and uh, wrapped up his minor pro career with Milwaukee uh, with 53 points in 53 games. Now, the, the Franklin Express totals were quite strong, 157 points in 245 games, including 98 assists with 11 points in the playoffs. NHL overall, 19 goals in 176 games, uh, 50 goals, uh, and three points in 20 playoff games. He will also excel, ladies and gentlemen, at the world junior level. Played with Team Canada in 1981 with four points, including a goal in five games. Now he's got again gone on a great success in coaching, and he also served as an analyst as well for a Hockey Night in Canada. But uh, you know, uh, his career as a coach it depends who you you talk to, because a lot of people felt he's probably one of the most underrated coaches of his uh, generation and the other is saying is the most overrated coaches. So I might do a future podcast on his uh, coaching career because it's quite diverse because you got to look at going from a Stanley Cup and going to, to be to one of the most controversial coaching decisions of all times in any sport where you bench Wayne Gretzky during the, the Olympic shootout in the semifinals at the 98 uh, Olympics, which eventually costs, I think, Canada a gold medal. So we'll talk about that. Uh, a little bit in a future podcast. So that's a legend of Mark Crawford again. Nice request uh, from my good buddy, uh, Bo Sheaves from Woodstock, New Brunswick. And uh, Bo, liked, uh, Bo likes to say, as, as I do, keep your stick in the ice. Have a good day. Bye.